Um, this is Charlotte from My Community Resource House and Garden. Right now we have Miss Shirley here and Cheryl. We are going to go ahead and try our best to connect the two of these rain barrels together. We're not an expert at this, so be careful when you try this on your own. Uh, I did get a wonderful kit by Earth Minded, and it has the tube in there and the rubber and actual drill bit, believe it or not. So it has everything you need in that kit. Then it also has a flyer here for all the equipment that you may need, a drill, a measuring tape, gloves, safety glasses, all that. And so our whole purpose is to make sure that when this barrel fills up, the other one will fill up so we don't have to come over and switch manually ourselves. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. To get our spade and we're going to try to make this ground over here even as best that we can and leveled and we don't have an extra bucket to put the dirt in so we're learning so now you know to get your like a no bucket to put the dirt in there. So we'll be able to catch rainwater so that we can flourish the garden this year for everyone. It's a great lesson in this is to make sure you read all the instructions before you get started. I'm going to place um, both of these in the, their location that's going to be permanent. Now, we're amateurs at this, okay? And I think I made a, a, a blooper because this probably should have been here. But we're gonna see how this works out. So I'm gonna put this one here first. Keeping the spout on the front side. Then I'm gonna take the second one. I had it in there. Mm -hmm. And place it here. Now, of course, this is a little higher because I don't have any bricks under this one. So we're gonna place, um, we're gonna place bricks yep. under here. I understand one thing, we can't come too high because we definitely want to be able for this downspout to empty into this rain barrel. This one here has already, this one here has already, this one here has bricks underneath of it. So I'm going to be using this uh, one as the primary. This is going to be the secondary. And I'm going to be placing bricks under this one to um, raise it up high enough for this one. Probably I would say no more than a quarter or to a half an inch. Also too, we're going to raise them up high enough to get the spout. We got bricks to raise them up a little higher. So. So Cheryl. let's get started. Yeah, Cheryl and I'll figure that, that project. part out. <laughs> we're guessing. Again, we're trying to figure this out. And I'm watching my knees when I bend, and I'm bending using my legs and not my back. 
Cheryl and I are both occupational therapists and we want to make sure that you're safe when you're doing this. So again, I'm bending, hanging it close to my body and bringing it up. And we don't have an extra bucket to put the dirt in, so we're learning. So now you know to get your like a no bucket to put the dirt in there. So we'll be able to catch rainwater so that we can flourish the garden this year for everyone. It's a great lesson in this is to make sure you read all the instructions before you get started. Then we'll put another one there. Here's the other one next to that one. There you go. Then we'll place that back and then we'll start raising. All right. How's it? Beautiful. Now we know where we have to dig around here for the spouts later on. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to even this up. Yeah. That's totally better. See how that... The water's gonna go in there. Good, excellent. Now we have enough room right there. Now, my, now the other one needs to be completed. So we're gonna gather some more patio bricks and some more uh, br bricks themselves. I'm gonna let Cheryl do this. I'm gonna stand back and watch. Uh, maybe I can learn some. Wow. Teamwork makes a dream work, right? Trying to level it out so everything sits nice and flat. Learning as we go. My work of art.
last but not least, we always put bricks in the bottom of our barrel when they're empty so that way they don't, the barrel doesn't fly away. I've already put three in there and now I'm going to put the lid right on top. Later I'll get a screen to keep out all the little bugs and everything, but it's a community garden. It's just going to be water, just like the rainwater to go right onto the plants. The two are connected. Yes. And we did it. Great minds think alike, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Water flow into the next one. Woohoo! We did it! We did it! Yay! Thumbs up!